Okay, and welcome to Let's Talk the Euro edition. So today we're going to be doing uh, our predictions for the tournament. So we're going to be doing who we think is going to win, how we think England's going to get on, who we think is going to be the standout player, who we think is going to win the golden boot, uh, the surprise team and the surprise player. And then we're also going to do at the end just our plans for the channel and uh, plans for the plans for the Euro. So um, should we start off with what do we think, Sean? Who's going to win? Who's going to win the tournament? France. France. Yeah, it has to be France, doesn't it? France, or, or I was going to say Portugal would be there too, but after how I saw they play against Spain the, the other week in the friendly, how Spain battered them. I know it was 0-0, but they battered them. I'm not putting Portugal in there. Obviously, Belgium, you, Belgium are a one as well. And it's, I think Italy are a dark horse, but I think uh, France, yeah. What about Spain? What do, you, what do you think Spain? I think what's going to let Spain down is a goal scorer. I think Torres though, isn't it? Torres is he's, he's scoring, isn't he? He is, but he's not a centre forward. He's not. He's not a centre forward. Of Rodrigo, mate, he'll be on. He's got starting. He'll be on the bench. You know, Morata. He's, he's picked though, isn't he? He's picked now. They have picked him for the COVID. Yeah, they, yeah, but they need to play that Gerard Moreno. He scored thirty goals for Villarreal, and they're playing Morata over him. Yeah, I don't get Morata. Yeah, I don't like Morata. But I can't understand that. So I just think Spain's finishing is going to cost them. But I, I think I can't. It's, it's hard for me to look past France. Like, and I brought Benzema back as well. And Giroud's it's between them two for who's starting up as a centre forward. And you know, they're just, they're all round, they're probably the best team. I think Portugal. Yeah. I thought Portugal before, but I just think they're too slow defensively. Like, but Pepe, I, I've go on. You've, no, I was just say like Pepe and Fonte, like late thirties, like thirty eight and thirty seven. So like. It's just too slow from Portugal, so I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm going to go. I'm going to go France. Yeah, I think France. As well. I watched France against Bulgaria, and they were just unreal. Like they just absolutely annihilated them. Pogba was on fire, and it's a, it's the depth that they've got. They were making changes, and the team was still improving. Like it, it you know, it, it's scary that you know that front three is scary. Uh, Benzema and Mbappe and Griezmann, like they are all hundred million. Well, probably not Benzema now because his age, but they were at one time a hundred million pound players. Like. They are like fantastic, do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I've had a bet on France to win it because I, I just think I think it's teams normally do well, like you know, when it's like like Germany had that stage where they won the World Cup and the Euros, Italy won uh, or Spain won the World Cup and the Euros, and I think it's France's time where they might win the World Cup and the Euros and have a bit of a bit of a run. Um, I think Portugal definitely team to like watch out for, but like you said, they've got some really good players, but then they've got some really Average players at font. He won't get in the Premier League team now, shall we? Do you know what I mean? At 38. Give him credit, though. The guy just won the league. He would won the league, yeah, he did, yeah. yeah about to, he's going to play Champions League football next season. Who would have thought that? Well, he's, no, he's not got a contract, has he? He's not got, oh, I'll be shocked if they get rid of him. I'll, I'll be surprised if they No, they've got rid of him. I think they've got rid of him. Or he, he, cause he's on top spot and um, I don't think he's, he's signed a contract. I think he's waiting to see how he gets on with Euros and he might get a team after that. Wow. Well, well, they're not going to get out of the group stage. Good. <laughs> um, but yeah, they've got um, like Cancelo, they've got Fernandez, they've got Silva, they've got Felix, they've got Ronaldo. Like they've got some top top players. So I mean, starting eleven wise, I think yeah, they're unreal. But France's depth is just incredible. Like it's almost two players. You... In position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. Like fullback, fullback, like Hernandez and Dignan are both fantastic fullbacks. Like, do you know what I mean? That you can rotate. That, for example. Do you know what I mean? Mate, they're going to, um, be, going to be absolutely gutted. Mm. That team, right? like, that, that team must be, like, in training, they must be absolutely pushing themselves and pushing themselves to see who's actually going to start. Because I, I, be, I wouldn't like to be the manager. Like, as much no, as I would love to be the manager of that team. No, nah, but it's just like, if you look, I'm not saying that team's not solid yet, but I, I, can, I don't know why, but I can tell there's a lot of egos in that team. And it's just like, if you just start benching, pl- I know they won the World Cup, but if you start benching players, it's, mm. like players that are regulars, it's just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, some of them might start taking it personal on that. But like, obviously, they won the World Cup, so I mean, it worked last time. But... Yeah, they won the World Cup and they've got Benzema this time as well. And it's like... Well, he needs to, like, as long as he just does his job of buttons it, because obviously that's what, he got in enough trouble last time. So if he buttons his lip and just does what he has to do... yeah. But, Fine, you know what I mean? Obviously, he missed the penalty against Wales the other day. <laughs> that was funny. Mm. I don't know, man. 
So yeah, we so, so we touched on um, Spain, touched on Italy. I think I, I can't. I think Italy are like dark horses, but I I just don't think they're gonna have enough to be honest. Um, what about England? No chance. No chance. No chance. What? Defensively, we defensively that's what's gonna do. It. But I honestly, I think this is one of the best teams we've had in decades. Like, if you, oh. this quality of team we have got up going forward is incredible. This ain't better than. Is it as good as the one, the 2002 one that should have got to the court? Going forward, I think it is. Harry Kane is a be- one, of, if not the best striker in the world. Yeah. Michael Owen was not the best striker in the world. He's a very good striker. He was hit there, though. He was. Oh, no, but come on. I'm not, yeah, but come on, man. Look who, was, look who the strikers was around back then, though. Come on. Like, you had. You, you. No, but you look at it. Yeah. No, no, you had Henri, you had Trezeguet. Oh, it's a joke who you had. Like them strike them man there. Like obviously, like and today, obviously you got Lewandowski and Haaland and Kane. You probably say those three are the top three, but man, Mike, like Michael, obviously Michael Owen back then, like it, bro, yeah, Brazilian Ronaldo. Oh, yeah, Trezeguet. It's a, it's a joke. Who is a joke? Who like who they had back then as well? It's, it's mad, but that team was no. But defensive. The problem is, I feel like that team was an all rounded team though. I was all round. Their, their defense, I'm not gonna lie, their defense our was, defense yeah, so much better. Our defense, well, the, our defense back then would walk, like centre backs anyway, would walk into this team. But no, but look at no, but Ashley Cole, Gary Neville, Rio Ferdinand, and Saul Campbell with David Seaman in goal. Yeah, that, that it doesn't even compare to the defense we've got now. But look at the midfield that we've got. Like, I know you've got, so who was it? was Scholes, it wasn't Gerard, was injured, wasn't he? So it was Scholes and. With Nicky Butt? No, Owen Argreaves. Oh. Skulls and Owen Argreaves. No, no, he didn't make that World Cup. It was Skulls and Owen Argreaves in the middle. Now, you compare them to Mason Mount and Declan Rice. Yeah, but you know, I'm saying Skulls are unbelievable. Yeah, but Mason Mount, he's a good player. Like, no, I'm sorry, De- no. Declan Rice. And I'd, I'd take Declan Rice over Owen Argreaves any day of the oh, week. Oh, no, no, no. But anyone would. That, no, but you, you would have to play some, No, but if you, if, you, if you had to put... So it would be skulls and other one one of the others in the team, one of them two in the team. It'd, it'd be, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, think, I, I would take skulls. Yeah, of course. Skulls would play, and you'd rather put Dex, you'd, you'd probably put Mason Mount because skulls can play that deeper role. You probably put yeah, yeah, yeah. But then up front, but I'm, but I'm saying like, but I'm saying they're still good players, and then but then it's a di- it's a different team though because like as your wingers with 2002, you had like Beckham who wasn't really a winger; he's more of a he'd, he'd cross a ball. Do you know what I mean? He wouldn't run with a ball type thing. But then you compare him to Jack Grealish. Jack Grealish is a completely different player where he can create anything out of nothing. He's a gather, right? He, he can create that bit of magic. And I think Foden, Foden as well. Foden, yeah. And England didn't have a left sided, a really good left sided winger in 2002. They had that Trevor Sinclair. They had like, you know, players like that, but decent players, but not nowhere near the quality as Foden. So I think going forward, I think England are really good. And I think going into the World Cup next year, I think England is scary, like how good they are. Look at I'm just, I'm just no, but look at defense. No, but defense, right? Ben White, he's only going to get better next season. He'll be starting for England next season. You reckon? He's he's going to get better. Like he he's going to improve next season. I think Foden's going to get better. Greece is going to get better. Kane's going to get better. Like Mount's going to get better. Rice is going to get better. Phillips is going to get better. They're all going to improve. And I think next I, I, next year for the World Cup. Yeah, but then the problem you've got is. Those other countries are going to get better too. <laughs> we're not that, yeah, true. We're, and then, then you got to throw. Remember, we're, it's not just the European countries you got to throw in. You got to throw Argentina in. Well, forget them. You got to throw. Brazil yeah, no, in. Brazil. Yeah, they're not. No, they're Brazil, not as good as what it used to be. Brazil would, Brazil would probably beat us, though. I'll be honest. Brazil would probably beat us. Not as good as what they used to be. Though. They're not the team like that they no, were. But they still, they've still got, they've still got quality in that team. Like Brazil, yeah, Costa, yeah. yeah. Like Brazil, Brazil on a day could beat most most sides in in Europe. Let's be honest, they could. Argentina probably not, but Brazil would probably rip most a lot of teams to shreds. Yeah, but I'm saying I think honestly I think England uh, and I think that England have got a bonus this year as well because I think if England had gone into the year of last year, I think they would have had a much weaker squad because Jack really wouldn't be in the team. Foden definitely wouldn't have been in the team. Cameron Phillips wouldn't have been in the team. Not there's no way they would have been in the team. Ben yeah. White wouldn't be in the team. I mean, he maybe shouldn't be in the team anyway. But, um, but the, yeah, but Maguire has to, for me, Maguire will have to play. But I have a shot. Maguire has to play alongside Stones. He has to play. If he's not play, if he don't play... But he's training now. He's training now. That's what I'm saying. Bro, but I'm saying we have to have our 
best team. I'm not saying okay, I'm not trying to say even don't have a shot, but if the best team aren't playing, that like, with the best well defensively anyway, attacking wise it's not a problem. But defensively for me it's the issue. And if then the best players are not playing, there's no chance. I I will give us no chance. Not not one chance. No. But with the way that Southgate play, Reese James is about it mentioned, he's gonna get better. But is he gonna um Play though, he, is he, you think he's gonna play against? Is he gonna play against Croatia? Like no. he probably, he's probably earned it though. After what he gave Man City, he probably earned his place. But is he gonna play? Is, is Southgate just gonna go for his trial and trust it? Like the people, yeah, go try and trust it. I think this is, this is. We'll go on to what we think is gonna happen with the Croatia game because what I think is, I think England are gonna flop the first game. I think he's gonna put try and trust it there, try and test the players in, and I think England are gonna gonna go too defensive. And I think we'll get a draw. And I think it's going to be a poor performance. And I, but I think then we'll get a bit of a rocket. And I think then we'll against the Czechs and against the Scottish. I think then we'll go for it, really go for it. But I think the Croatia game. I don't think we're going to win. I think he's going to go. He's already said pretty much he's going to go three at the back. Maguire is definitely not going to play. He's going to go three at the back. And I think we'll go too defensive. And I don't think we'll play well. I don't think we'll start Foden. I don't think we'll start Grealish. And I think he'll start Stone and Rashford. And then in the second game, I think he'll be like. Mm, I think I need to go a little bit more. I hope I'm wrong, but that's what I think. Yeah, but probably, but no, no, you're, you're probably right. England, I don't think England have ever won the first game at the Euros. That's so weird. That's shocking, man. Yeah, and in the World Cup, they rarely win them. And like, if you remember last time, they only beat Tunisia at last minute goal. Do you know what I mean? They never do against, well in the first game. Wales, against Wales, that last minute goal. No, no, it was Tunisia. No, it was Tunisia last time. The World Cup. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and Harry Kane's got a last minute goal. And I think I've got a feeling it's going to be. Um, a draw. Well, I hope not. I want to win. Like, win. but because Croatia, the Croatia are a team now, but they're there for the taking. They're an aging team, but yeah, they've got, but they've got experience, and that's the only thing. That's what matters: the experience. Like, like I said, I know they lost to the World Cup final, but they've been there and they know how to. Mm. They know how to get the job done if needs be. But England needs to. The problem I've got is, I want to see like from England. I want to see like you know how like up France and other countries play that fluid style of football. Yeah, uh, have a style, have a style of football, style of play. Obviously, that's a hard thing to do, but I feel, I feel like England don't really have a style of play. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, I agree with that. Don't get me wrong. International football is very, it's even harder to make create a style of play because you're not with each other all the time. But when you look at how the Spanish style of play, you look at how the French of play, play, play just, and the, obviously the Brazilians how they play, they have a style that is just it's ridiculous, and it just looks, it looks so slick and silky. That's what England need. England need to have a style of play, and, and, and that, that's the that's the. That's yeah, but the pro- the problem we've got though, and this is the problem that we've all said, is that he's not played his best team yet. He's just put the thirty three out, so he doesn't actually know what the style of play is or what the team, what team he's going to pick. And that's the problem, and that's why it feels a little bit disjointed. The last couple of games I've watched England, I thought they've been terrible, and they've another one. But they've won poorly. Where they just the the two friendlies have played, but also the local qualifiers. I just think it's not been nice to watch. And I think if he goes in too defensive, I, I doubt the thing that was really good about the World Cup because of the World Cup, they got an easy run. Like, let's not let's not lie about it. They got an easy run. They beat teams that they should have beaten. But it just felt like everyone was like, it's coming on, it's coming on because they've played with a bit of freedom and a bit of like Lingard and Ali and played like that with a bit of flair and going at teams. But this time it just feels like. The ner- it feels like Southgate's a little bit nervous and it's a bit like we just but, need to keep clean sheets and it's like but we have to attack I think I think, but do you not think it's because he's looked at what happened to, you know, in the Croatia game last time and it's just like where we lost it, it was because we, I guess defensively we weren't organised but also maybe he's looking at it defensively because he knows we haven't got our best back four right? but we didn't attack we didn't attack in the second half against Croatia I don't know what the excuse was for that I don't know I can't I, I have no idea why we didn't do that and we, we've got such a better team now than we did in Russia. Such a better team when you add Grealish and Foden and players like that. They, these are players that can change games. Like, they can really change a game. Oh, no, they need to all start. Mm. But the problem is, for me, like, like you said before, certain players haven't even played since the Champions League final. That's not yeah, good. No. That's no good. Who would you... What, so, what do you think his lineup's going to be for Croatia? I think he'll probably go. I, w- I think I'd like to think he'd go four three three. I think he'd mm. go. I want to go Pickford in goal, Walker, 
Um, yeah, Walker, Stones, if Maguire's fit, Maguire. I'm putting Chilwell, based on the Champions League final on Chelsea. Three, I would like Rice holding, Mount and... I'll go Mount and Foden, because he, only because he's played there for Manchester City as well. And then up front, Grealish, Kane, and I think he's going to go Sterling. Yeah, I think, well, I think he's going to go, I think he's going to three at the back. So I said Pickford, the Walker, um, Maguire, and Mings at the back with Chilwell no, and... No Stones. No, sorry, no, sto- no, no, sorry Stones, not Maguire. Maguire up play, sorry. Stone, Stones will be at the back with Mings. And then it'll be Chilwell and Trippier. And then it'll be Phillips, Rice and Mount. And then it'll be Rashford, Sterling and Kane. And that's what I think he'll go for. And um, what I what no, I don't think they'll start, but what I would like him to go for would be Pickford with um see I, I'd go four, I'd go with a four, I'd just go with a four. I think they're good enough for, to go for a four and I'd go Shaw. Um and I, I if it were me personally, I'd even pick Ben White and I'd pick I'd go Stones and White, because I don't think my would be fit. Um I'd still stick with Trippier on the right. I'd go um Rice. Mount and Bellingham, and then I've got Ford and Grace and Kane, and I, cause I like Bellingham, and I think he'll, okay, he, yeah, he really sense. goes for it. That makes, sense. that makes sense to me. Yeah, I get that. Um, or it, I'd even pick Phillips over Rice, maybe, because Phillips is good at holding that role, and just maybe do that. I but I don't think he will. I don't think he will go for that anyway. No, but the only thing is, for me, when it was Phillips, right? I think you either play him or Rice, one or the other. Honestly, yeah, yeah, you don't play them both. Yeah, you don't play them both. It's pointless playing them both. I just, I just think he's going to play Rice, but I think. They're when Phillips plays for Leeds, he sits in the he sits in the middle. He lets the attackers go off, and he just sits. He pings ball across. He makes the tackles, and he he, he, he it's like he sits in a back three because he just sits with the defenders. When he plays for England, he sits in with a two, but the two drops so deep you don't you, you don't even see him. You don't know where he is. He's not even in the game, and I, that's why I hate it when he plays for England, Phillips. Well, maybe he might, well, he might bring him off the bench then. I don't know. Maybe if they think they're going to win in one 0 they might just bring a month to show things up. Mm, maybe. Um, what's your score prediction? I can't see England keeping a clean sheet this time, but there's so many chances. I'm gonna go. I think it'll be. I think it'll be one one. That's what I've gone. I've gone one one. I've had a five on it as well because I got a five pound free bet from Skybet. So uh, twenty five pound coming my way. <laughs> yeah, one one. <laughs> I can't see. I'll be shocked to think they keep a clean sheet. If they keep a clean sheet, fair play. Yeah, I don't think they will either. I think, yeah, I think they'll go too defensive. Um, right, so we'll go on to just go on to the tournament. Um, so, player of the tournament, if you could pick one, who do you think is going to be a standout player? It's gonna, I feel like it's going to be somebody random that, like, we don't even know. It could be someone random. Because this is where players, like, but it's not. It's normally player. It's normally like the winning team or a team that goes the furthest. Normally have the best player, don't they? Yeah, depends. You, yeah, obviously it depends. who goes the furthest. Um, I'm going to take a punt here. I'm going to say, I want to say Lukaku. Mm, that's good one, yeah. Because I think, I think he's going to like him and De Bruyne for Belgium. Will really have to step up, step it up, step their game up when it matters. And I think I expect De Bruyne to do what De Bruyne does, but I just think Lukaku. He's just a goal machine, goal machine for them. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna do it. Yeah. Like, I mean, like you can have Mbapp- obviously probably Mbappe probably as well because Mbappe is just he just tore he just tore enough teams apart in the World Cup, so that'd be an obvious name. But I'm going for I'll go for like Lukaku or something like that. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm sort of like similar to you. I'm saying like De Bruyne, um, Fernandez, them sort of players. Um, Ronaldo and Mbappe, you know, I'm, I think they're going to be the team that's going to go the furthest. So I'm sort of saying them might like, sort of play them creative players. I think Fernandez and Ronaldo could be dangerous, um, and I think De Bruyne and Lukaku could be dangerous. Um, yeah, I'm saying them. I think maybe England, like Jack Grealish, Foden, if they play, but just if they play. But get out of the group, mate. Let's get out of mm, group. I think they'll get. Out of, well, if you don't get out of the group, I think you're sacked. If I'm honest, I can't, I can't see how if you can't get out of that group, how he can be in the job. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, 
that was such a huge step back from semi finals of the World Cup. I've just got a bad feeling, you know. I really do have a bad feeling. I hope I'm not right with this bad feeling, but I just, yeah, I hope. It's just, it would be such a shame if they didn't do it with this squad. It's such a good squad. And that's what he felt like in 2002. It felt such a shame with Sven because he but, didn't but, do enough with that squad. If he had a world class money today, you probably would have won it. No, but the thing is, the, like, the team they lost to, they were the best two teams. Yeah, they were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if, it was, but, if England had beaten Brazil, England would have won that World Cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. guarantee they would have won that World Cup. 100%. But it's like with the Euros, though, the Euros after. They got not talk about Portugal, and you just feel that if you had a world class manager there, would you have won it? But, no, but that came out to penalties as well. But like that, no, but then, yeah, but it's little, it's yeah. little details. If a world class manager might have won that, do you know what I mean? No, but in that whole tournament, we got clotted by France. I remember France was smacked two one, two one. I remember, right? I've got the story, just a quick story. So, I, I knocked one of my first bets, my granddad put me a fiver on England to draw one one with France. And England went one nil up, and then Becker missed the penalty, and I actually cheered because I wanted them to draw because I wanted to win the money, and uh, and then France scored in the ninety first minute. I was celebrating. I was like, I've won! I've won my first ever bet. I can't believe I won it. And then they scored in the ninety third to win the game. I was in tears. I was literally crying my eyes out. I couldn't believe it. But um, yeah, but yeah, I just think at world class manager, maybe we we would have gone a bit further, and that's what I'm thinking now. I just hope that. We're not going to miss this brilliant team. Do you know what I mean? But you think of value, but look at the value we've got in this team. Grealish is worth the same 100 million. Kane's 150 million. Sancho's 83 million. Foden is over 100 million. Mason Mount is over 100 million. Like this team, and I know, like, obviously, it's the area we're in now and stuff, but still, like, this team is. Do you know what I mean? The problem, but that's the thing. The, 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 the only problem I've got for me is. I just think attacking wise, it is unbelievable. I just, yeah, it's just at the back. <laughs> it's just the centre backs. I don't even worry about the full backs. The full backs are fine. I've just always been nervous about the centre backs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, that, that's my biggest worry. Like, I just, like, I just. Cody, Cody and Mings are not good enough, and that's that's the wor- the worry for me. The less, but, like, got, you know, I mean, you're relying on Maguire, who's legless right now, and Stones, Stones, is and good. Maguire and Stones aren't that good either, and it's like you rely on them. And that's yeah. the problem. Yeah, Stones needs some a rock, somebody else with him. Yeah, 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 yeah. But Maguire could probably do that for him. But we need more. For me, I think we need more young centre backs coming through. Uh, I'm not doing wrong. Gomez would have been in the squad. And probably yeah. Played. And Ben White, Ben White is a good player. He will get better. But he's just, he's just not ready yet. Concer from Villa, he will get better. But he's just not good enough yet. I think, I, yeah, those those guys will, will be like going for it next season. But I think Gomez is also raw. Well, if, if Gomez wasn't injured, he would have made the squad. He would have 100%. Yeah, yeah, he would have done that. Yeah. So, it's fascinating. It's a fascinating one. I also think we need, I'm not like, I still also think maybe we're slightly short. But I mean, absolute quality, too, like, and a bit more quality in the midfield. I'm not saying that defensive midfielders, the solid. Calvin Phillips, you've got Calvin Phillips, Rice, and Henderson. But, like, apart from that, we've probably got Mount. But apart from that, I don't think we've got many. Solid, good centre midfielders. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That's the other position that I'd, I think because I just think like, oh, well, like if we had like a Bruno Fernandez kind of centre midfielder like that, or somebody along a slight. Mount, midfielder. Mount is getting better though. Mount is going to improve. And he has just won the Champions League, mate. Mount. Yeah, no, no. He's, he's not, not as good as Fernandez. He's not as good as Fernandez. No, but I think he needs someone else with him. I think he needs. We yeah. Can bring through another solid quality um, midfielder like Willock. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. Smith Rowe might do something next season. I don't know. Mate, you can't do, yeah. can't do, you can't do much worse at Arsenal, so it might be all right. You never know, but we'll see. Yeah. Um, Golden Boot? Gosh, probably it's going to be a striker, isn't it? I've had a 10 on Lukaku. Yeah, I think he's going to do it, Lukaku. I, I think, yeah. I, I, yeah, I think him and De Bruyne, I think, are dangerous. And they've got quite a nice group, haven't they? Yeah, I, I'm taking a group of anyone in a group of death. I'm taking them out of the equation because unless somebody's going to get clapped, no, no. <laughs> you watch him win it. I can't even. I don't even want to look at that group because I'm looking at Germany and I'm thinking, who the heck is going to put the ball in the back of the net? Because after what I've seen from Havertz and Werner, yeah, if they even if, if they score three goals and that gets three goals in that group, that'll be lucky. I'll probably be all against Hamilton. Hmm. So I don't know. Um, what about Harry Kane? 
Well, it depends on how many penalties we get. So he he's be... dropping deep, though. The, the, uh, my fi- yeah, my theory is he's going to drop too deep but then, and try and get the wingers to score. That's the thing. But with the pace, that's why we would have to have Sterling and Rashford playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, yeah, no. Drop that deep. That's why I think one of them will play. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I think that's that. 100%, yeah. Well, it's, it's a tough one. It's actually, it's actually a tough one. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with Lukaku. Yeah. I was trying to think. Griezmann, Mbappe, Giroud, Benzema. Giroud, I'll put Giroud, Giroud, yeah, one of those. He guys. might not, he might not play enough. Uh, Torres, Torres for Spain, he scores a lot for Spain. Uh, maybe, Immobile for Italy. Immobile, yeah. He's in my fancy team, Immobile. Uh, that that lad from Turkey, that Yumelez, yeah. you know, from, yeah, yeah, from Leo. Oh. Ronaldo, Ronaldo we're not mentioned. Can't really, can't really miss him out, really. You know, he's always big occasion. He'll score, yeah, yeah, he'll score. He, I always think with Golden Boot, it's who's got the easiest group, and it's like, that's why Kane did so well last time, because we had Panama, so it was like, he yeah. scored a hat-trick for there, didn't he? So it's, and I think Belgium have got quite a nice group, so I think Belgium will get quite a few goals. Yeah, that's true. We'll see what happens. Um, surprise team, team that you think might surprise us? Uh, it's Denmark. That's a good shout, yeah. Because there's, there's always one in there. There's always one in there. There's, a, there's a random not, ones. They were undercover, not a bad side at all. They drew 1-1 one, one with Germany the other day. So not a bad mm. side. But if not, I'm going to say the old the old rear guard. I'm going to go with the Dutch. Because the Dutch, yeah, are, maybe, yeah. the Dutch are a big club. If you like to say big club. Big, big nation. Who really... I know they've got Van Dyke, but like they've got a lot of heart. and They've got, some, they've got good quality in their team. And they've got a lot of heart, and I feel like they could. I wouldn't. I wouldn't count them out. You know, they've got. They could. They could be a surprise. The Dutch. Yeah. Yeah. They're not, they're um, not no mugs. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm going to say Italy because I think they're unbeaten in like 18. I think it is, and I think Mancini. He's not a bad manager. I think he's built up the team, and like with like Immobile and stuff, and they've got good um, like back four. They're quite good, solid. So I think they're definitely one. And then Ukraine, I think as well. I think they've got some really good okay. players and they've got quite a, no but they've got quite a nice group, so I think they could have a good tournament. I think they could be surprised. Come on, Ukraine. Yeah. <laughs> if England get knocked out, come on, Ukraine. <laughs> Wait, who's gonna get more points in their group? Ukraine or England? Who are you, who are you going for? England should, like, let's be honest. Like Czechs and the Ukraine? Scottish. Like, they have got nice I think they they've got the Dutch. They've definitely got the Dutch. They're in Dutch's group. Okay, let's, okay. Let's, have a, let's have a quick look at it. Let's see, let's, let's see who you've got. I bet you've got a right easy group. Mate, oh, wait. Netherlands, yeah. Netherlands, Macedonia, and Austria. So they should come second in that. Netherlands, man. Oh, that's all right. Mate, have you seen where they are in the group right now, though, before it kicks off? That's probably where they're going to finish. They're bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's alphabetical. <laughs> well, so, yeah, they, I think they've got quite a nice group. So, um, yeah, I think Ukraine could do all right. Um, and they've got some good young players as well. Um, and then last one, surprise player. Anyone that under the radar? There's always someone that pops up in the era. I was like, if you remember the Czechs when like Petr Cech came out, no one heard of him, and then he came out. It was unreal. And um, there's always like someone. Rental Sanchez for Portugal came out, didn't he? That when they won it. I'm not sure actually. That's a tough one. I'm not too sure about surprise players. I'm not, you know, not no one really that I can think of. Um, maybe probably a solid defender or something. I don't know. It depends who plays with me. We don't even know. We don't even know who's going to play. You know, for all we know, someone can pick up a stupid injury tomorrow. Oh wait, what about your guy that, that defended that plays for Leeds that plays centre back for Spain? He might. Lorente, play. he's got COVID. Oh, we ain't playing then. Sorry. Wait, what? <laughs> mate, whoever's in that group must be kicking. It must be like, well, we got a chance, a chance to get out of the group. That's a t- Spain have got a hard group, by the way. Poland, Slovakia, and Sweden. Well, I know Sweden. No, that's not a hard group. Why not? Don't it's be, not hard, bro. Don't be dissing up on the Swedes, you know. They got no, I don't know they got Ibrahimovic, but they still got Sweden. Wait, they probably still got Sweden. Sweden. Four goals, you know. And Poland, but that's for my for my surprise, I'm going to say Danny Almo. Danny Almo for Spain. He's, yeah, but is he going to start though? He's, yeah, he'll start. I think he's my surprise. He's my surprise. The only reason I'm saying him is like I put him in front of him, so oh. I'm hoping he's going to be a surprise. He's a good player. He's a good player, Danny Almo. I need, I need him to perform too, because I've got a rubbish fancy too. I 
don't know. Wait, no, you've got any Scottish players in there? No. Robert Robertson. Robertson could have a good tournament. Oh, well, I hope so. He said, you know what I mean? I'd be, I'd be proud of that if Liverpool players do good. What about Bale for Wales? What, what about Wales? They got, they got right I don't think I don't think Wales are going to do anything to be honest. Hey, they might finish third at least. Um. Right yeah, that lad from Turkey as well. I think he might be a bit of a surprise. Yilmaz, yeah, Yilmaz. Yeah. Well, he's, he's an old veteran in, but he just scores goals. So it's going to be, it's going to be fascinating. Yeah, be good. I'm I'm buzzing for it. Fair. It'd be a good tournament. I'm also, obviously, obviously, I'm going to be watching both tournaments as well, the Copa America. So I'll be fascinated to see which tournament is more in in um, what entertaining. Yeah, you so, keep filming in, won't you? Um, yeah, so we'll, do, we'll just do a quick brief on just like plans for the channel and stuff. So um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing every Tuesday and Friday is going to be the Euro. So we're going to be covering the Euros. We're going to be getting guests on every week. So Nissi, Ricardo. Um, and uh, Dell and Owen and um, we're going to get a few more guests on as well that you've not seen before so we're just going to be chatting all Euros chatting about England chatting about the home nations and just chatting about um, everything what we think is going on Sean's um, going to be uh, travelling to Canada doing some journalism <laughs> for the Canada squad <laughs> um, yeah so Sean's going to Canada so um He's going to be coming on, uh, probably not every episode because it'll be obviously with time just and stuff, but he's going to come on as much as we can. But I'm always going to be having um, a different guest on, so we'll have someone someone different every week so we can um, talk about the football. Yeah, yeah. going to keep it rolling, keep it going. Yeah, but um, I think to finish, we are, all we need to say is it's coming on. It's uh, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. When you mean home, are you talk about England or Ukraine? I don't even know which one you're talking about. Are you talking about when you mean it's coming home? What's coming home? Is it coming home to you? England, yeah, England, oh, England. It's coming home. home. Yeah, <laughs> unless England get unless England get knocked out and then it's coming home for Ukraine. <laughs> oh, hold on. So, what happens if England play Ukraine in the final? What are you going for? Yeah, I'm England all day long. Yeah, unless uh, unless <laughs> lose, <laughs> no, I'm Eng I'm English. I'm going to support England, aren't I? But I hope Ukraine did well. But obviously, I want England to win it. Alright, so if not, you want Ukraine though, right? If Ukraine, okay. Well, no, if England don't, I want France to win it. Come to the ten on them. <laughs> well, so France get Ukraine in the final. You're telling me you want France to win it over Ukraine? No, well, I might have a bet on Ukraine just to just to level it out. <laughs> <laughs> just save my bet <laughs> cool well uh, yeah so um, we'll uh, next episode will be a review of the England match versus Croatia hopefully we get a win I'm not so confident but see what happens come on England it's coming on cheers guys, guys.